today we're gonna show you the difference between crocodiles and alligators. The first thing that you guys are gonna notice with crocodiles is their teeth. You can notice that the bottom jaw, their teeth actually intertwine with their top jaw. Whereas you can see that the bottom jaws of an alligator, their teeth actually go right into the top jaw. So it's not like a crocodile where the crocodile teeth actually will intertwine. You can see these teeth are much more round and much more stumpy, but when he closes his mouth, the teeth actually go right into his top jaw. Can't Ooh. come to Florida without going to our good friends over at Gatorland. Up. Good job, buddy. And the crocodiles can really use those teeth for feeding. Crocodiles are definitely more predacious than alligators. There's no doubt about that. And look at these things feed. Holy moly. You just throw some food in there and they are after it. Quick, agile, unbelievable predators. And you may notice that the crocodile's teeth are more pointed. They're definitely sharper, whereas the alligator's teeth are much bigger and more rounded. And I'm at Primitive Predators. I can't think of a better place to show off amazing crocodiles. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put a link in the description to all of their stuff. Go show them some love because they have some amazing content. The next thing you're gonna notice is that crocodiles have a more triangular head. Their nose comes to kind of a triangle and almost all crocodiles have that similar feature. Some with longer noses and some with shorter noses, but they're all triangular shaped. Whereas alligators, as you can see, have a much more round nose, have a much more round nose just like that, not the pointy nose of a crocodile. What are you doing, you cheeky monkey over here? Ooh, yes, close up call. Close up, close up. Okay, you're good. And the reason for that is that crocodiles are definitely more carnivores. They're more predacious, whereas alligators, they're more scavenging type. They will predate, don't get me wrong, but they are definitely more scavenging. So they're using that round jaw to kind of help them pick up stuff. Sometimes they'll even eat fruits, believe it or not, whereas crocodilians, that's not on the diet. It's all carnivore. Alligators have sensors around their mouth that are called ISOs, where they can sense the actual water change. So watch this. See how the alligator knows as soon as that meat hits the water, the pressure changes and they snap at it. But crocodiles actually have ISOs all over their body. So they're sensing not only what's in front of their face, but they're sensing things all over the body. Again, any pressure change in the water at all. If this Orinoco right now is out in the deep of this water and anything touched that water at any level, it's gonna send little waves and their entire body is gonna pick up it with those little sensors. And that's why they're such amazing predators. Of course, the late great Steve Irwin actually said that alligators are basically frogs with teeth because he'd worked with crocodiles so much and the difference between alligators and crocodiles is so incredible when it comes to their attitude. Crocodiles definitely are more athletic. Now the thing that's interesting is that crocodiles have longer legs than alligators, giving them the ability to run much faster and in some cases like Cuban crocodiles jump up to five foot. Cuban crocodiles literally gallop, which is amazing and can really run at fast speeds. Whereas alligators are very slow and methodical and they have shorter legs. Crocodiles actually have longer legs than alligators, meaning that they can actually gallop and move super fast. And again, the athleticism of crocodiles. You can get an idea with this Cuban crocodile right here. <laughs> Dan, he's buckering up. Okay, so. So we're in with Morton, a crocodile that has got a ton of energy. You ready for this, Danny? Oh, I think so. First thing we gotta find him, this is the hard one. Morton! Come on, bub. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> He's going back to the water, yeah. Hey, get it, nice. <laughs> oh, is that good? Look at that, buddy. I think he's still hungry. Crocodiles hit so much harder. They're generally much sneakier because you got to think of the prey they go after. You know, the prey is it's very ambush, whereas alligators are designed to eat crabs and turtles and crushing stuff. So they kind of just lope around and scan the bottom and find it and 
scoop it in their mouth and crush it and swallow it down. So they're not as much of an ambush predator as a crocodile. Crocodiles hit hard, they come out strong. And also alligators have just like a jovial personality. In captivity, they're they're very easily, you know, manageable as far as like a safety aspect of working with them and just going in there and, and having fun, you know? Crocodiles, especially like saltwater crocodiles and Cuban crocs, much like working with a black mamba, you gotta understand what you're dealing with and not be fearful, but extremely respectful and conscious of everything you do in that enclosure. a golden saltwater crocodile or what they call a porosa. Now the reason they call them saltwater crocodiles is that they can actually live in brackish water and even sometimes swim in salt water like the oceans. And of course crocodilians have a membrane that can actually help them filter out salt. Basically almost like the iguanids do the same type of thing. But of course alligators don't have nearly the advanced part and they can only be in freshwater mainly and they don't have the ability. But now here with this one this is a saltwater crocodile. These guys can be found all over huh? Yes. So the, the biggest question I get about saltwater crocodiles here is well how do you send them up with salt water the truth of it is is they're called australian saltwater crocodiles because they're found quite commonly in salt water they'll travel for miles to find islands that they'll eat sea turtle eggs but they can handle long periods in salt water very very long periods much like the american crocodile if you talk to the locals in florida they call american crocodiles saltwater crocodiles right. because they find them a lot in salt water so yes they can withstand long periods of salt water but you you do predominantly find these animals in fresh water okay and it's just a difference of tolerance right alligators don't tolerate the salt water as much as most crocodiles and that's why the distribution is so wide for crocodiles and so narrow for alligators. Fun fact for you guys, Bone Crusher is actually an American crocodile. In American crocodiles and American alligators, it's the only place where there's actually crocodiles and alligators that are in the exact same area. So let's go ahead and see what Bone Crusher is. He's gonna is. come see us, I think, first. Oh, yeah, come on, buddy. And the thing that's interesting that American crocodiles are actually from South Florida is that these guys are often known as like saltwater crocodiles down here because they can live in brackish water. And again, just like all crocodilians, they have that membrane that they can absorb salt and actually expel it. And these guys will have more of that ability than alligators. Again, the only place in the entire world that crocodiles and alligators coexist. Let's talk about some of the similarities between alligators and crocodiles. Crocodiles, like these now crocodiles here, they actually have what they call a nictating membrane, which is basically almost like goggles, right? Their eyes close this way, but when they're eyes are open, another lid can close this way that is see-through so they don't get water and other things in their eyes so that they can see underwater. Both alligators and crocodiles have what they call osteoderms, which is basically bony skin. You can see the ridges all along their back, and that's for protection from predators. Have you ever seen how alligators' eyes and crocodiles' eyes actually glow at night if you shine them? It's called tapetum lucidum, which is actually like a reflective layer in the back of their eyes. You may even see that with your dogs at some point, but with alligators and crocodiles, it's much more pronounced. And when you go out at night and you shine the water with a light, you see all these little glowy eyes, which is an absolutely amazing thing to see. Both alligators and crocodiles are apex predators. Crocodiles and alligators have been around for a couple hundred million years. These guys are true prehistoric animals, and they haven't changed much over that time. They've gotten a little bit smaller, but they still are basically almost the same type of thing. And one of the reasons they've been able to survive for so many millions of years is the way that they're actually made, right? Whereas food sources would become very scarce during time, of drought or maybe some kind of cataclysm that actually hit the earth. These guys could go up to a year without food because they're cold-blooded. Oftentimes they'll lay there in the sun and then basically use very, very little calories so they can go long distance of time. So whereas other animals actually would go extinct because they needed more food, the crocodilians were able to survive all those hundreds of millions of years. And of course, the thing that's interesting about crocodilians is the maternal instinct. Tell me a little bit about how it works with crocodilians. That's what's incredible about these reptiles is they're such great parents. Over there at the other facility, we have a pair of Niles that, you know, laid their eggs, raised their own young together. These cold-blooded killers can be such amazing parents. They'll actually protect their nest. Once the babies hatch, they'll oftentimes take the babies in their mouth, bring them to the water. And we saw at your other pond where there is literally adult Nile crocodiles and babies smaller than this just swimming around. Yes, Absolutely thousands amazing. of pounds of pressure in that mouth and an adult, but yet they can take an egg and just gently crack it just enough for the baby to, to pop out of the egg and swim away. 
Maternal instinct, amazing with both crocodiles and alligators. Alligators in Florida is a lot easier. As far as the care of an alligator is much easier than a crocodile. Especially if you're not in, this, in Florida, like I've had it before when I grew up in Pennsylvania. If the heat goes out, alligators are like, well, you know, this is just a cold day, but crocodiles, it's a death sentence. So you can certainly see the difference between the alligator here and a crocodile there. There's no better way to see. See those really pointy, long teeth? The alligators have much shorter teeth, that round snout. Absolutely, this is the perfect depiction of the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. Of course, alligators are in the southeast part of the United States, but crocodiles can be all over the world, right? They really are, almost every single continent. Except for Antarctica and Europe. Check this out, guys. Piece of meat. And alligators. We sure found out a lot about crocodiles and alligators today. Speaking of out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, 